Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So far, 14 problems have completed on network analysis. In every problem, we have learned how to draw the network diagram, how to find out the EST and FT value, how to find out the critical path, probability, etc. So if you're watching all the videos till now, you might have got a good command on the topic of uh, ratio uh, of this uh, network analysis. So if you want the complete command, watch all the videos from beginning till and don't skip in between, don't join in between. So if you have not watched the earlier video, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject operation research, select the videos of network analysis, be perfect. So before us starting the 15th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of these two problems, 15 and 16. Then I'll explain every point in detail. Come on, see the 15th problem. <clears throat> A project has the following activities and other characteristics activity A, B, C, D up to I. Then preceding activity, no preceding activity for A and B. Then we have A, A, C, D, B, H activity E, F. Last activity, there is a misprint there. For I activity, the predecessor was only G is written there in your question paper. Along with G, write down H. So G, H is the predecessor for the activity I. Then we are given time estimates in weeks. Optimistic, most likely pessimistic. Again, we combine these three times into one expected time, TE. The formula for TE is TO. Uh, the formula for TE is TO plus 4TM plus TP divided by 6. Every problem we have done. Then uh, draw the network diagram and find the critical path. First question. Second is find the probability that the project is completed in 36 weeks. First of all, we need to calculate the expected time and variance because probability is required. So we need the variance. So here activity A, B, C, D, exactly same. Then predecessor activity I have copied. Here the predecessor activity is G, H. H is not printed in the question paper, write it down. GH is the predecessor for I. Then three time estimates are given TO, optimistic time, TM, most likely time, TP, pessimistic time. Right? Now expected time. Multiply the TM with 4. So 7 into 4, 28. 28 plus 4 plus 16 divided by 6, you will get 8. Formula is 4TM plus TO plus TP divided by 6. In the previous 2-3 problems I have given that formula. So write the formula. Then similarly 5 into 4, 20. 20 plus 1 plus 15 divided by 6. You will get 6. 12 into 4, 48 plus 6 plus 30 divided by 6. You will get 14. Like this all expected time we have calculated. Now variance is required whenever we need to calculate probability. In this problem, it is asking probability, that's why variance, right? TP minus TO divided by 6 whole square will give you variance. The first TP is 16. So 16 minus 4 divided by 6 square, then you will get 4. Similarly, 15 minus 5 divided by 6 whole square, you will get 5.4. Next one, 30 minus 6 divided by 6 whole square, you will get 16. Like this, you calculate the variances. Now we start drawing the network diagram. There is no predecessor for A and B. The two activities are starting from beginning. So first event, one activity A, the other activity B. A and B starting simultaneously, there is no predecessor activity, right? Then C follows after A, D follows after A. So after A, two activities are following C and D. 
have taken C activity, I have taken D activity. Now E activity follows after C and F after D. So E follows after C. So C is over. So after C, E follows. And uh, if uh, C follows after E, D follows after F. So after F. So first of all, F is the activity which follows after D. F is the activity which follows after D. So D completed F. E and F I am joining because EF is the predecessor. EF is the predecessor for H. So H follows after EF. H follows after EF. G follows after B. G follows after B. So B is end here. B is ended here. So G follows after B. Now I have combined G and H because G H is the predecessor for I. G H is the predecessor for I. I follows after G H. So this is the complete diagram. Now take the expected time. For A activity, what is the expected time? 8. So A activity 8. B activity 6. This is the B activity 6. C activity 14. C 14. Like this, all these expected times you write down on the activities. Now we start E S E F um, E S T. E S T then L F T. E S T expected starting time will start. Earliest start time. First will go forward pass. So first of all, only one arrow is merging. 0 plus 8 is 8. Here only one arrow is merging. So 8 plus 14 is 22. Here also one arrow is merging. So 8 plus 5, 13. Two arrows are merging. So we take the maximum 22 plus 11 is 33 or 13 plus 7 is 20. Whichever is higher, 33 is higher. Here only one arrow is merging, 0 plus 6 is 6. Here two arrows are merging, so we take the maximum. 33 plus 4, 36. 33 plus 4 is 37. Or 6 plus 11 is 17. So whichever is higher, 37 is higher. So I have taken 37. 37 plus 18 is 55. So we got all EST values forward pass. Now we move back, back, backward pass. 55 minus 18, you will get 37. 37 minus 11, you will get 26. Similarly, 37 minus 4, you will get 33. Right? 33 minus 7, you will get 26. And 33 minus 11, you will get 22. Here, two arrows are busting. So, we will take the minimum. 22 minus 14 is 8. Or 26 minus 5 is 21. Whichever is less. 8 is less. Right? Now two arrows are busting. So we take the minimum 8 minus 8, 0 or 26 minus 6 is 20. So 0 or 20, whichever is less, 0 is less. So we got all EST LFT value. Critical path is the longest path from first event to the last event. Here 626, both are not same. This is not critical. 1326, both are not same, not critical. So first event to second event, 0, 8, 22, 33, 37, 55. Critical path goes from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 5, 5 to 7, 7 to 8. Right? Critical path always will be shown by double lines. Now here, critical path, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 5, 5 to 7, 7 to 8. And critical activities are A, C, E, H, I. Right? Duration of the project 8 plus 14 plus 11 plus 4 plus 18. It comes to 55 weeks. So duration of the project 55 weeks. Variance of the project duration. For variance we take the variances of the critical activity. The critical activity is A. So A variance is 4. The variance of A is 4. The variance of C is 16. So 4 plus 16. Then E. For E variance is 4. So I have taken 4. Then H. For H variance is 1. So 1. Last I. The variance for I is 16. So if we add up, it is coming to 41 weeks. 
तो वेरियंस इज फोर्टी वन वीक्स स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन इज तो अंडर रूट ऑफ वेरियंस तो फोर्टी वन रूट यूल गेट सिक्स पॉइंट फोर जीरो वीक्स तो वी हैव कैल वी हैव मेड द आई मीन कंस्ट्रक्टेड द डायग्राम वी हैव कैलकुलेट ई एस टी एल एफ टी वैल्यू क्रिटिकल पार्ट ड्यूरेशन एंड वेरियंस नाउ इट इज आस्किंग यू वॉट इज द प्रॉबिलिटी दट द प्रोजेक्ट विल बी कंप्लीटेड इन थर्टी सिक्स वीक्स एक्चुअली द एक्सपेक्टेड टाइम इज फिफ्टी फाइव वीक्स बट वॉट आर द चांसेस दट इट विल बी कंप्लीटेड इन थर्टी सिक्स वीक्स तो वी एज्यूम दट द प्रोजेक्ट ड्यूरेशन फॉलोज नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वेर म्यू is equal to 55 weeks and standard deviation 6.4 weeks so our x value is 36 so z is equal to x minus mu by standard deviation 36 minus 55 by 6.4 minus 2.97 now if you draw the normal curve then central value mu is equal to 55 z is equal to 0 our x value is 36 which is less than 55 so here left side x is equal to 36 z is equal to minus 2.97 now we need what is the area to the left of x is 36 this shaded area we require so we calculate what is the area from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to 2.97 so if you refer refer the normal area curve from 0 to 2.97 2.9 under 7 You will get point four nine eight five. If you refer the table, two point nine, uh, two point nine under seven, you will get the value point four nine eight five. So this area is point four nine eight five. But we don't require this unshaded area. We need the shaded area. So point five minus point four nine eight five, you will get point double zero one five or point one five percent. so probability that the project will be completed in 36 weeks itself is 0.15% that's all this is the end of problem number 15 now 16th problem draw the network for the following activities and find the critical path here we are not given three time estimates only one time estimate is given the only thing is you have to draw the diagram and find out the critical path activity is a b c d up to g there is no predecessor for a and b activity so here this is a activity and this is b activity a activity upward b activity straight like this i have taken then c follows after a so after a c follows this is the c activity then d follows after c after c d follows this is d activity then e follows after d so after d e is following right and i have joined this e because b and e is the predecessor for f activity so f activity e activity follows after d f follows after b and e this is the f activity which follows after b and e i have joined b and e then f follows then g follows after f So G follows after F. That is the diagram of this project. Now take the duration for A activity ten. B uh, B activity it is seven. So B activity seven. C activity five. C five. So whatever durations are given, write the durations on the activities. Now we need to calculate EST value. Starting here zero. Only one arrow margin. Zero plus ten is ten. Ten plus five is fifteen. Fifteen plus three is eighteen. Right here. Here two arrows are merging. <clears throat> two arrows are merging. So we need to take the maximum. So eighteen plus two is twenty. Or zero plus seven is seven. So twenty is higher. Twenty plus one is twenty one. Twenty one plus fourteen is thirty five. so forward pass completed 35 is the est value of the last event for last event est lft both will be same so 35 35 minus 14 is 21 21 minus 1 is 20 20 minus 2 is 18 18 minus 3 is 15 15 minus 5 is 10 right here 21 minus 1 is 
Now here two arrows are busting. So 10 minus 10 0 or 20 minus 7 is 13. Whichever is less 0. That's all. Now critical path is the longest path from first event to the last event. When EST values are, EST and LFT values are same. Here you can see directly also you can go. But it is not the longest path because 7 plus 1, 8, 8 plus 14, 22. But here we are getting 35. Here you can see 0, 10, 15, 18, 20, 21, 35. So this path is the critical path because it is the longest path. It is the longest path. So show the critical path by double lines. Now critical path are 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 4, 4, 2, 5, 5, 2, 6, 6, 2, 7. Critical activities are A, C, D, E, F, G. And duration of the project is 10 plus 5 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 14. It comes to 35 days. That's all. So in this video, two problems I have explained that is 15th and 16th. Inshallah, we will continue the next problem in the next video. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video, Inshallah, we will continue the next problem in the next video.